Hi folks, I'm Volba. I'm a singer and a vocal trainer and this is my little channel about vocal anatomy. Today, I want to continue to talk about the yawning muscle a bit. Last video I showed you um, where the yawning muscle is and why it's so important. Uh, today I want to tell you why it's so important to have a strong yawning muscle for a capable voice. First of all, a bit more information about the anatomy. The vocal cords are situated inside the thyroid cartilage in your throat. They actually are attached to the tip of the thyroid cartilage over here. Now, in order to have a flexible range and flexible sounds, your vocal cords need to be flexible. <laughs> um, and that means your thyroid cartilage needs to be flexible. Because in order to accommodate a wide range, it has to move, it has to be able to stretch the vocal cords. The one thing in many, many people that stops the thyroid cartilage from being flexible inside the throat is the stiffness of the thyrohyoid muscle, which is also called the swallowing muscle. Mm -hmm. um, that muscle is attached to the thyroid and it goes up to the hyoid bone. The hyoid bone is the origin of the tongue. The tongue kind of like sits on top of the hyoid bone. Now, if that muscle is so, so strong and so stiff that it cannot, you know, loosen up, then the thyroid cartilage is always very, very high in the throat. And it cannot give you the flexibility that you need to have flexible range and flexible sounds. Now, you cannot just grab your thyroid cartilage and stretch it. <laughs> you know, it's not like dancing. You take your leg and you just stretch. No, please never do that. Never try that. <laughs> you need to use the antagonist of the swallowing muscle, which is the yawning muscle, in order to stretch the swallowing muscle. Meaning, antagonist is just the opposite muscle. So this is my biceps and this is my triceps, right? If I want to contract the biceps, I stretch the triceps. If I want to contract the triceps, I stretch the biceps. The opposite, the antagonist. In order to stretch the swallowing muscle, your yawning muscle has to be very, very strong. So today I want to give you an exercise how to make that more easy, to make the yawning muscle stronger. Now since, with many people, the thyroid is so uh, way up in the throat, the yawning muscle is kind of constantly overstretched because the distance between the sternum and the thyroid is so vast that the yawning muscle is constantly overstretched. Like if I have a muscle that is overstretched, like my biceps right now, it's very hard to contract it, right? See that? It's so hard. Ah, it's super hard. But if I get the muscle out of being overstretched into a relaxed, uh, re relaxed state, then it's much, much easier to actually contract the muscle. So that's what I want you to uh, practice with your yawning muscle. And for that, we have to bring the sternum and the thyroid cartilage closer together. Since there is many bigger muscles here that can help, I'm going to teach you how to put your sternum up like this. So the distance between the thyroid cartilage and the sternum decreases. You know, it's smaller now the distance than like this. And so when you put your sternum up like this, it's easier to actually contract the yawning muscle because it's out of the position where it's overstretched. Now it's relaxed, right? One important thing to consider here is not to arch your back. So what I want is the sternum to go up like this, vertically. I don't want your sternum to tilt like this. And if you arch your back like that, the sternum is going to tilt, you know? Um, I don't want you to arch your back. I want you to find the muscles, which is, a, ooh, it's not so easy sometimes. For some people, it's super easy. For other people, it's not so easy. Depends on where you are with your body and how much you have done these exercises already, such exercises. Now, what I want you to do is to up your sternum like this. Now, what it feels like to me is like your, my sternum goes slightly um, to the to the diagonal front up like this, but my back is expanding to the back. You know, I don't go and do this. I go 
and do that. And it feels like my back is actually expanding to the back here and my sternum is coming up. So with this, this exercise can really, really improve your ease and with which you can actually yawn and strengthen the yawning muscle. Because basically what you do is you just up your sternum and then you yawn. And then it should be much, much easier for the thyroid to come to the uvulum because the yawning muscle is not overstretched anymore. So this exercise should make it really easy for you to contract your sternothyroid muscle, your yawning muscle, because it just actually is what happens naturally when you yawn. Your sternum just comes up naturally when you yawn. Try that out. Let me know in the comments what uh, you experience and what you think about it. It's just an exercise. It's not for you to sing like this. No, <laughs> that's not the end product. It's just one step in getting your voice to be stronger, you know, and it's like the very first step. So keep in mind, this is just a small exercise to strengthen your muscles. It's not an end product. Oh, if you like the video, of course, please like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to know more about what um, I know about the anatomy of the voice. And I will see you when I see you.